Hello once again everyone and thank you for tuning in to House and Homes 38 episode. Now I know it is another busy week for the rest of you so the House and Home team will try our very best to give you a very splendid and enjoyable night for the show tonight. Now to our lineup for tonight we have for you Healthy Minds with Dr. Ambi, Painting with Tobman's October edition, Cooking with House and Home broken up into two parts tonight and Travel with House and Home. Proudly brought to you by our friends at Airlines PNG. Shopping with Brian Bell is on first, so here is the lovely Jane Takilala. Hello viewers, I'm Jane Tokilawa and welcome to Shopping with Brian Bell. In today's kitchens, there are so many small appliances that are found in the kitchen to make life and our cooking experience more enjoyable. In this segment, I will feature the benefits of using an electric fry pan. There is a wide range of fry pans which are available in Cambrook, Singer, Sunbeam and in the Yoba brand. They're designed for everyday cooking, from small quick meals to large family banquets. You could easily cook breakfast pancakes to roast dinners and stir fries. These versatile pans can be used for baking, stewing, bracing, poach or fry food. They come in a range of sizes and shapes which makes finding the perfect pan for your family a simple task. Known for all purpose, they feature an accurate adjustable temperature control which makes your cooking precise. It has Teflon coating which has the advantages of non-stick cooking and easy cleaning. They are made for safety, durability and performance. These electric fry pans feature extra deep pan, glass lid with steam vent, aluminium pan, adjustable thermostat control, and removable power cord for easy cleaning. These pans can be a substitute if you run out of gas, which some of us experience now and again. They're also perfect for cooking whole fish if you do not wish to chop up your fish. As you can imagine, there are so many different types of dishes which can be prepared by using an electric pan. Apart from these fry pans, there are other products that would better complement your fry pans. Products such as the Tromantina utensils in nylon, wooden, bamboo or silicone utensils which will prolong the life of your electric pans. Here at Brian Bell, there is a wide range of serving utensils available for all occasions. I know we have already celebrated PNG's independence, however, available only in our Brian Bell Port Mosby branch are this lovely pop art collection of the Better Paradise. These perfect little gift ideas are available in mugs, drink coasters, tea towels, key rings and fridge magnets. New products keep arriving on our shelves, so drop by your nearest Boring Bell Home Centre and check out these new arrivals. Now you know you can tend to us simply because you're backed up by Brian Bell's warranty, service and spare parts. So remember, great products, great prices, that's Brian Bell. Until next time, good night. Thank you, Jane, for featuring the benefits of using a fry pan and Bob Pop Art. And just to know how affordable and sufficient these products are is definitely worth the buying. And there you go, viewers, this week's edition of Shopping with Brian Bell. Stay tuned as more is coming up on House and Home after this break.
Welcome back to House and Home. Next on our lineup for tonight, we have for you Painting with Tobman's October edition. Have a look at what Deborah and Michael is featuring for tonight. Enjoy. Good evening viewers and welcome to another episode of Tobman's. Now in our previous episode we learned how to paint our ceilings. Now let's take the next step to transforming our homes. Did you know that you can transform your home simply by painting it? Well thanks to our team from Tobman's who are here tonight to show us how we can style up our simple homes. So Michael, what do you have for us this week? Good evening viewers. Thanks Deb, that's a good question. Tonight, we're going to learn how to paint our interior doors. Oh wait, so are you telling us that we need to remove our doors? No Debs, there's no need to take the door off its hinges. Simply use a plastic drop sheet underneath or some old newspapers. You can take the hardware off the door or choose to put masking tape over the door like I did here. This will help save you time and money. And that's your first step. Oh, well I can do that. So, do I start painting now? No, Deborah. You have to use a fine grade sandpaper to get the door looking and feeling as smooth as possible. Remember not to polish the door too much because paint tends to stick better on a rough surface. And that's your second step. Oh, okay. That does make sense. Oh, before I forget, if you're painting a flat door with no panel or molding, it's best to use a 100 mil brush, like so, or a small roller. But if your door has paneling, then we recommend you use a 50 mil brush. And that's your third step. Oh wow, that's interesting. I think I've got the idea. So Michael, do I just use any paints on my door? No Deborah, not just any paint. A good quality primer is needed. This will help the paint glide on more smoothly. Apply one coat of Tobin's 3-in-1 water base. It's a primer, sealer and undercoat all in one and it's suitable for all wooden surfaces. And that's your fifth step. So now that I've learned all this, can I start painting yet? Yes, Deborah. After finishing all the requirements needed, we can now start painting the door in even broad strokes. If you can, avoid going over the same surfaces you've already finished. This will help ensure you have an even finish. They blow me a John Yama, me on a blog, this like Jagamit me the apartment. No. Me to thank you long uh, Tomans, long quality paint blong all. No. Me look at me most of this like color and me attracting plenty of customers long. Look, hence it is in a long uh, international one time me look in. Because me been trying plenty paint long all the all hard ways. He go, that's all me not to, me come try and try and go and me not to see my good blood paint. Me painting finish me sign up me looking at me not kissing long at thinking long me. So me go back here or torments long factory blong all straight and me ask him all. Now only give him this black one black right color paint. Now me put him all get up. Me paint him this black house blow me. Now me am a master long torments black color good black color paint blong all. So was one day you like him paint torments and number one paint blong top on Guinea. Now international one day.
Join us again next time for more painting tips and do-it-yourself ideas on house and home. Time for paint, time for Taubman's. I'm Deborah Telek. Happy painting and good, good night. night. Topments, always there to help us with our painting ideas and techniques. And thank you, Deborah and Michael, for showing exactly how you can paint your ceilings. Now stay tuned as we'll be back for another edition of Healthy Minds with Dr. Ambi. This is Healthy Mind with Dr. Ambi, proudly brought to you by Telecom PNG Limited. Good evening viewers and thank you for joining us on this edition of Healthy Minds with Dr. Ambi. I'm Godwin Eki. Dr. Ambi, thanks for having me on the show tonight. Viewers, our discussion topic for this evening is cannabis abuse. Now, cannabis is often known as uh, New Guinea gold or otherwise known as marijuana. And that's exactly why tonight we have Dr. Ambi to explain to our viewers or to you what cannabis is. Dr. Ambi, please. Thank you, Goodwin. You know, I, I think it's very important and viewers, I mean, big blood topic or same law, plenty of old papa, mama, I'm concerned about this law issue. So I love to say what I want to say is in the marijuana plant or similar, some plant key ingredient, the key chemicals, and it's also called nine tetrahydrocannabinol. So in this la uh, ingredient tassel, chemical tassel, Amy make a more kind, kind problem blow life blow you me. So the important thing when they are, it's an ancient drug, again, it's an ancient drug, and it's it actually different uh, amount of concentration, depends on how much concentration is in the leaf or how much they are smoking, effect m So the, the key active ingredient, what does it cause, is like it alters the mood and toxic to the lung and also impairs the driving ability and as a result oh well you saw a penis now all uh, in accidents and about nine come up also so when you say what happened why it's an issue goodwin because uh, uh, we know that this affects all these areas so a lot of children because our children and adolescents are in the growing stage so that because we know that tetrahydrocannabinol m, m by affecting all piccinini or same na m important through if affects the brain affects the sexual organs and also uh, you know the it affects the growth and all those things so the, the children are in still developing a, uh, age so it is a concern for us and that's the very important old, old man mary law who said listen to this it's very important that we listen to it and most of the time what does that cannabis that old kissing blow leaf or flower or fruit or one kind or stems or one something or cut him what happens they either eat or they chew or iv that means putting blood blood straight Right, huh? So t suppose you smoke, within 10 to 30 minutes it gets absorbed into the blood system and that's where the intoxication, that means it goes right into the brain Now we got some supply effects. So what it happens when it goes to the plasma, that means into the blood, it come up, you know, stop low blood yet, it hurry up now come up low all the tissues where there are a lot of fats are there. So especially brain testes, especially in kids, you know, boys, huh? in the testes and all this and it stays for two to seven days and then, then end of the day when it's breaking down in the liver now nah, m come up low uh, kidney like piss piss or pet peck yes so that's one of the way that intoxicated cannabis get absorbed and how it comes out of the body yeah so i guess you know when you smoke marijuana yes. 
what happens? What are the signs and you know symptoms that yeah. are effects? Yes, the basically all uh, me like talks about all get a man Mary. M M E got effect. It hijacks the brain. You know, people will argue with you, but let me tell you, it hijacks your brain. So it changes the brain, heart and lung. You know, it's got a direct effect on that. So it changes the mood. So intoxicated. So you smoke marijuana and I'm going to blood. It changes the mood and giddiness. You know, like you feel of some dizzy, euphoria, like laugh, nothing, nothing, feeling relaxed, but actually not relaxed. And these are all hijacked tactics, yeah? maybe drug, yeah. So now mellowness, so you feel your hamamas, na I mean feeling or same, na sleepiness, and problem keeping accurate uh, track of time, and also hunger and dry mouth. These are some of the very important issues we need to know, and not also less social interaction so those who are smoking they have less social inter interaction attention concept because it affects the brain eh? good brain. so it attention concentration and memory and by bagarapim and impaired so impaired means and bagarapim multi-step tasks so you want to do a few things you may can think them, but suppose you smoke and you know and by interfering and ability to drive and you know right so coordination you know right and suppose you perceive what it is okay you like putting brain Na am by no na put in break. So persons have little insight. So those who are smoking, they don't realize they've got an issue. So there is that's called lack of insight. And also, you know, especially coming from mental health aspect, and by making more some suspiciousness, you by thinking more some high stress, they become and become aggressive. Uh, you know, good win. And viewers, you can also hallucinate. Hallucinate means you can hear voices, but through, through, you know, gut voice, delusion, false, fixed belief, or poisoning food, or this la kind, confusion, and they are disoriented to time, place, person. Yes. Thank you, Dr. Ambi. Now, just for our viewers, if people are dependent on this, um, on cannabis, what happens? Yeah, thank you, Goodwin. And because before I talk about the dependence, that's very important. It also, when they smoke, when they're intoxicated, viewers, all man can kiss him, shake, na tremor, hand blown all by shake. The muscle strength is not good. And uh, you will feel those who are smoked, like blood shots in the eyes, like conjunctivitis, like, and skin temperature goes down, and uh, also dry mouth, and about me, tok tok penis. Mm. Now, about the uh, dependence, but the dependence, there is a fatigue. You know, I, I see a lot of kids, you know, at the school all smoke without Papa, Mama, Save, now go, go, go. Now, no, fatigue, you feel more same lazy, lethargic, and anxious. They feel heart rate is increasing. They worry nothing, nothing. It's like anxiety problems. And also, in, they all by, like a lot of kids, they think when you smoke marijuana, you can remember things, but Kids, let me tell you, no way. It's not your understanding better. It actually, uh, you know, there's no memory problem. It interferes with the memory. And in concentration also, there is nothing properly concentrating. And yawning, you know, by you mm -hmm. yawn, yawn all the time. And you can be very depressed and trouble in sleeping. So by you looking more, sometimes we call it as a motivational syndrome. So you will see that school performance are really bugger up penis or same low job, na relationship issues and ending up with legal issues. Yes, good one. So what are the medical uh, problems that people will, will face if they are, you know, taking too much of this drug? Yeah, I think medical, uh, you know, lot, not only that we see it in the psychiatric setting, but also it has got smoking marijuana because it's a chemical, 9-hydro, tetrahydrocannabinol. So any gut effect, the more you drink, it's like smoking or eating or whatever. It has got effect, like I said, like lungs. So you will see throat or nose area you can have inflammation or cancer it can pre-exist some kind of uh, you know asthmatic attacks and about also you will see cardiovascular system you know it actually weakens the heart mm -hmm. by you looking at say muscle blow heart yeah me go down i'm you know, pumping good through now high blood pressure heart attack now this la kind can be associated and it reduces the immune system so you know it interferes with the immune system so that uh, malaria or one m kind 
sikki no nap kissing good strong yeah now interferes with the reproductive oh that's because it interferes with you know like i told you it interferes with the hormonal system so your growth that's what the young kids we have to be careful because they can end up with infertility because it interferes with the ovulation na low production of the sperm so you know nap kissing baby in the future you know that infertility issues and also malformed babies now this la kind am through through story me talk because we see this kind of patients all the time and and i think i take this opportunity to really educate the people because this drug hijacks like i said in the beginning uh, when you smoke marijuana it basically hijacks hijacks the brain and also has an effect on your mood and it has an effect on your physical system especially lungs and all other systems and also uh, in the function of our brain itself and i think kids should be very very careful because we used to have arguments and think but uh, many of our uh, places where all pikinini come na cut me pili mose mogeda most of the mental health issues are associated with uh, smoking marijuana and drinking alcohol and other like chewing betel nut and all these things are psychoactive substances you may not can say it we just take it and it affects your brain and the body thank you very much dr ambi viewers thanks for your company now the good news about this conversation is that it's reversible so there's always a good chance that you know whatever issues you're facing it'll always be solved i uh, thank you very much for your company once again and for being on this show tonight with me and dr ambi i'm godwin eki until next time good night Healthy Minds with Dr. Ambi was proudly brought to you by Telecom PNG Limited. and welcome to another Travel with House and Home edition. We are here at the lovely Goroka town. All thanks to our friends at Airlines PNG for being the official carrier for the House and Home program. For tonight, I'll be your guide to take you through the amazing Goroka show held here in Goroka. So come with me as we explore what the Goroka show has to offer. Welcome to the 59th Goroka Show. Um, this year we celebrate 59 years of uh, Goroka Show with 40 years independence of uh, PNG. And um, the Goroka Show has attracted 150 sing sing groups from all over Papua New Guinea, from Hela Province down to Western Highlands, down to Jiwaka, Chimbu, Eastern Highlands, and down to Medang, as well as Momase region. Our international tourists who've come as far as Belgium, uh, America, um, Australia, Japan, from all corners of the globe. And the Goroka Show is an internationally recognised event and we are really proud of that as well. And uh, the momentum is building up every year, we've noticed. Yeah, next year will be 60 years for us and we look forward to it, which will be bigger and better than this year. Uh, hopefully it'll be a one 
week celebration leading into the Groker Show itself. So welcome everybody and uh, do come and join us next year for the 60th celebrations. As you can see, I'm standing in the middle of the Buraka show, surrounded by all this traditional group from different Highlands provinces, just a few from the Mumasa region and a small group from the New Guinea Islands region, but mostly dominated by all these Eastern Highlands province traditional groups. The atmosphere here is just full of excitement. There's a lot of wonderful and beautiful colors, and also the chanting and singing from each traditional group just echo throughout the show. I am from the Grand Bay of Eastern Highlands, close to Kanentuna. I am from the Grand Bay of Eastern Highlands, and I am enjoying it. So I am nice place to hold it now. As you can see, I am here at the last day of the Goroko show and one lucky winner will be chosen as the vessel winner of the show. But personally for me, I think they are all winners because they are just great in their own way. This year's Goroko show has been fantastic and a big thanks to all you wonderful traditional groups out there for making this event an unforgettable one. And also a big thanks to Airlines PNG for being the official carrier for the House and Home program. With that, I'm Mark Goyner Jr. and this has been another edition of Travel with House and Home. Now we have for you viewers Cooking with House and Home, which is, as I've said, broken up into two parts during the program. And so we are joined by our talented chef Mike Sherman of the Holiday Inn Express and Sweets to see what two delicious dishes he will be cooking up. Have a look. Good evening viewers, I'm Chef Mike, I'm the executive chef at the Holiday Inn. And today I would like to uh, feature two German dishes that I will be cooking for the Oktoberfest week. Oktoberfest will start today featuring the best dishes from Germany. Um, I will be cooking myself in a restaurant. And if you like, please feel free to pass by and um, try my dishes. I would like to start with, uh, with a, a pretzel spread. Pretzel is a typical German um, bread, what uh, we eat for dinner. Um, the, spre the spread will be made with uh, camembert cheese, butter, paprika, some onions, and caraway seeds. Caraway seeds are very, very popular in Germany. 
and um, gives you a great addition to, um, to the dish. So let's start. Today I start with uh, camembert. It's Australian camembert. You can use free cheese if you like, uh, as long as it's ni a nice and buttery cheese. My second ingredient is butter. Butter makes um, the spread very, very smooth. My third ingredient is paprika. Paprika gives it a nice color, a bit of smoky flavor, which works very well together with, um, with my pretzel. The fourth ingredient is onions. I will fine, uh, finely chop onions uh, and mix them under uh, the camembert. And of course, salt for a little bit more taste. Now we start, I will start chopping uh, my camembert um, in very, very fine cubes and then put it into the blender. As you can see, it's nice and soft. It will be a beautiful spread today. You can see it's extra buttery. It's very, very nice and smooth. So we put that into the blender together with the onions. For one camembert, I, I use a quarter of onion. That will be uh, sufficient enough um, to um, give it a great flavor. I will finally chop it. And then it goes into the blender together with the cheese. Now I will add um, some paprika. A, tea a teaspoon full is more than sufficient. I will add salt. And my butter. Butter is really, really up to you how smooth you want to have the cheese. If your camembert um, has less fat content, then you use more butter. If the camembert is as smooth as uh, my one here, it only takes a couple of uh, tablespoons. Now we will mix everything together. If you like, you can uh, use a fork. You don't need to, uh, if you don't have a kitchen blender, um, you can easily squash it with a fork. Mix it again. Make sure that the butter blends well together with the cheese. It should be sufficient enough. I will place that in a bowl and mix it a little bit more to combine all the ingredients and then we're almost ready. As you can see, it's very, very nice and smooth. You just need to mix the paprika under that the flavors evenly spread. Now at the end, I will um, mix the caraway seeds under. Um, it's better mixing it under, um, not with a blender 
because the flavor is very, very strong. So it's um, it's easier when you add it last. Then you can um, then you can easy flavor up to what extent you like it. We start with only a little. And that will taste best when you leave it overnight, so the flavors can nicely mix. Garnish it with a little bit of parsley, and then we are ready to go and put it into the forest. So here we go, the first dish is ready. Uh, my second dish for today is a veal liver, Berlin style with mashed potato and roasted onions. My ingredients, veal liver. I have pre-prepared a mashed potato, butter, caraway seeds together with the onions, onion, salt and flour to flour the liver. First, I will slice the liver and marinate it in milk. I have fresh milk. The milk gives the liver a very, very nice uh, smooth flavor. Again, that can be pre-prepared the day before. You slice the liver and marinate it in milk. No spices, just milk. And now we slice it. One liver is enough for four person. Um, you usually give one or two slices. I will place the liver back in the, uh, in the bowl to marinate. We'll add some milk. Now I will start cooking the mashed potatoes first. Again, I will add some milk. And of course the butter. Cook it very, very slow to make it very, very creamy. Get some salt. Now I have added the salt, and as you can see, the mashed potato is nice and creamy. We leave it on uh, on low fire just to keep it keep it nice and hot. The next step is frying the liver. We'll add oil, a little butter. And I will use the flour to coat my uh, veal liver. Seasoning you can adjust as you like. Um, I like to put the salt as last.
because if you uh, if you marinate your uh, liver with salt in the beginning, it will get very very hard. So we want to have a nice smooth um, piece of liver. So I fry it first, and then I add the seasoning. That dish can, can be eaten with salad. Um, I prefer it with uh, roasted onions, just as simple as that. Now I'm chopping my onions. Uh, uh, half an onion for one person is more than enough. They go onto the grill. I mean, ni nicely browned them. As you can see, my, my liver is cooking very slow. We leave it a little bit longer to have a nice golden brown. Now to add some oil for the onions. <clears throat> and that will just be ready in time when the liver is cooked. As you can see, my liver is nice and uh, nice and brown, and has a very very nice buttery flavor. The liver takes around four to five minutes. Two minutes on either, uh, either side. This depends on how uh, thick you have cut it. Um, I prefer it in two three centimeter slices, so it keeps ni nice and moist on the inside. Now my onions are almost done. I will reheat my mashed potato. We'll add a little bit of parsley just for um, an extra color and extra flavor. We'll chop them very fine and add them to the onions. Here's my second dish, almost ready to go. Some parsley as garnish. I will add some of the butter. Here we are ready to go. My second dish, calf's liver with mashed potato. As you can see, two easy dishes. They will be fe uh, featured from uh, today on uh, Oktoberfest week. And I hope to see you soon at the Holiday Inn Coffee House to try my beautiful dishes. Good night. Thank you, Chef Mike, for cooking up those uniquely German dishes that most of us won't find here in PNG. I really want to try one of those at home. With that, we have come to the end of the show. If you want to inform the House and Home team of anything at all, our contact details are shown below. And as always, remember that there's more you can get out for your home and lifestyle improvements when you tune into House and Home. Until next time, I am Marco and Virginia. Always a pleasure to have you all on board. I shall see you all next week. We care about improving lifestyles. It's all about the better man for your life.